District, and yes, they're playing for the title of the Beach District. Kempsville will host Green Run High School for the big season showdown, and I guarantee you, this game is going to be a shootout. We're really glad we're here, because there's thousands of people out here in the stands for this big time game. And who knows who will win, but I'll tell you what, we're going to find out, because we're going to take it to the highlights between Kempsville High School and Green Run High School. Let's go to the action. We are at Kempsville High School for the Beach District Game of the Year. Green run in white and the Kempsville Chiefs in blue. And here's the kickoff. And right off the bat, here he comes, Trey Sinkums. And boy, oh boy, does he start Kempsville off on the right foot by getting a great return right there. And now let's watch Kempsville. There's a good inside handoff, and you know who that is, Trey Sinkums once again. And boy, oh boy, did he open up the Kempsville Chiefs early with some beautiful display of running. Boy, did he knew this game was going to be nip and tuck, and he knew Kempsville was going to try to keep that ball on the ground as much as possible. And there's a handoff right there to Mike Tishinari. And boy, you know that name. This kid is really loaded for bear. Quick feet. Watch him as he really goes on it now. Here he comes. There he is once again, Mike Tishinari. Even if he does not a hole there, some kind of way, Mike finds a way to slither himself in between linebackers and tackles all the time. And yes, Kempsville gets on the board as Mike Tishinari scores the first touchdown of the night. And at this point, Kempsville takes the lead at 6-0. And boom, there's the extra point by Nicole Frey. And boy, was she deadly all night long, but Kempsville takes the early lead. 7 to nothing over the Green Run Stallions, and this place was going crazy. There's the band and everybody involved. Uh, what were some of the stats tonight, Tim? Well, Philly, Glenwood Fairby got his 19th touchdown pass of the year, leads the area. Pishinary at 38 carries for 172 yards. Great night. Okay, here we go, back to the action. Watch out, here he comes, that's Cedric Warren, and look out for him, he's going to go all the way, he is digging, he is wigging, it could be a touchdown for the Stallions, and yes it is, that was a 92-yard touchdown kickoff return by Cedric Warren, and boy, you know them Stallions were fired up after Kempsville really held the ball for quite a long time and scored on the ground. Boom, Green Run strikes right back, and yes, the extra point is good. And all of a sudden, this was a 7-7 ball game, and now the Stallions are kicking off to Kempsville High. Uh-oh, that was a mishandled ball on the kickoff, and yes, Kempsville could have fumbled that ball, and they did as Green Run Stallions get the ball, and suddenly, here they come. This is number nine, Cedric Warren, once again. I'll tell you, he's ripping out some yards right there. But as you can see, that sticky defense from Kempsville was really hurting people, and they paid the price every time they tried to dig up the middle. As you can see, Cedric Warren, once again, trying to pound the middle of that Kempsville defense, and that's not the friendliest place to be. Uh-oh, there's a mishandle, and yes, Kempsville recovers right there. And boy, oh boy, is this going to be a big-time ball game. Each time you looked up the stands, one side was quiet, the other side was going crazy. It was like that all night long, and now Kempsville starting to grind, and I think everybody in Hampton Roads knew that this would be their game plan to try to grind themselves, and they did, as Mike Pishinari really had a great first half, and here's an extra point after he scored another touchdown, and yes, at halftime, they took the lead 14-7. Hi, I'm Tim here at halftime, and I don't care what Philly says, it's a beautiful night for football. I'm from uh, upstate New York, so this is nice football weather for me. Halftime score, Kessel 14, Green Run Stadium 7. Coach Bull said before the game for them to win, Kessel would have to control the line of scrimmage. They're doing that. Mike Pichonari carrying the load. Green Run had the big play with the ensuing kickoff at the first touchdown. That was Cedric Warren. In order for Kessel to win this game, they got to continue to run it on the ground. Green Run's going to have to come up with some big plays, either Washington or Glenwood Farabee. Going to have to make some big plays down the stretch. Looking for a great second half. Philly, take it back to the second half action. Okay, we're picking up the game in the second half now. It's still 14-7 to 7 as the Stallions are trying to roll on top of... That's Larry Jordan right there, by the way. Really good carrier up the middle for Green Run. And I'll tell you, the game is still here, 14-7. Stallions couldn't do anything as they kick it off to Kempsville here as they'll try to set up and do some damage. We've got a few more stats for me, don't you, Tim? Yeah, Philly. Mike Pichonieri got his 22nd touchdown in this game here today. Loves to play against Green Run. Last two years, had two great games. And also, Green Run really missing Roger Lightning Lee, their ace running back. Well, 
here we go, back to the action. And I'll tell you what, even though they were missing them, they played a great game. But you can see the Stallions now trying to get up as they are trailing here by one touchdown. But right now, Kentsville is threatening. And let's see what they can do. There is a keeper. That is Fred Sanders, the quarterback. And yes, he keeps it and goes in for a major Kempsville touchdown. At that point, that made the score 20 to 7. And I'll tell you what, the Kempsville fans started to breathe a little easier, but I don't know why, because you gotta be really careful. Nicole Frey, once again, accurate as she can be, pops the extra point, and 21 to 7 is the score at this point. As you can see the joy and jubilations, even in the cheerleaders, as they knew Kempsville had a real good chance to win here on this cold, windy night. All right, now Green Run trying to penetrate. Uh-oh, beautiful play right there. Kept good eye on the ball, great concentration. And you know who he is. He is a great player. That's Lanier Washington for the Green Run Stallions. And boy, Green Run knew their backs were against the wall now. And they're not used to being down by this kind of score late in the ball game as Kensville continually on defense right there continually showed why they are number one. That was James Woods made a great play for Kentsville High School. And now back to the action as Glenwood Therby goes back. He's looking. Oh, incomplete once again. And I'll tell you something, this game started to get real late. Kentsville took the ball, couldn't do anything again. They booted off the green run. And boy, oh boy, you just kind of had the feeling that the green run stallions were going to back here and get themselves a score. And as you watch these highlights, you're going to see that they did just that. As Green Run now with ball control trying to get on the board to tighten up this ball game. There's a good pass once again to the outside. And boy, oh boy, Lanier Washington having a big night. Can Green, uh, can Green Run get in? That's the big question. There's a good handoff right there. That's number 44, Larry Jordan once again. And I'll tell you, these teams were pounding at each other. But Green Run now was starting to get on the inside a little bit. And they knew that this was desperation time as that sticky Kentville defense, though, kept making it tough and taking a lot of time off that clock, and that's very important when you got the lead, but here's a pass to the outside, that's Ben Root, he's going to take it in, and yes, he does score to make the score 21-14, to 14. and you know what, Green Run scored one more time in that ball game to make it 21-20, to 20. and the coach made a decision at that point, he was going to go ahead and go for two points, hoping that the Green Run Stallions could slip out with a victory, here's the point after that made the score 21-14, to 14. Green Run did score one more time, but fell short on the two-point extradition, and Kempsville wins 21-20. Kempsville now does win the Beach District. All right, Deep Creek.